and I'm now by Kendall Parkside Cemetery. And there's 51 Commonwealth War Grave commemorations. I'm going to tell you the story of five of them. And I'm going to start at the grave of aircraftman first class George William Winthrop. George was born in 1914. In World War II, he served in the 925th Balloon Squadron of the Royal Air Force. On the 2nd of April 1941, he was on a motorcycle which collided with a civilian lorry. They sadly killed George. He was just 27 years old. I'm now by the grave of Private Matthew MacDonald. In World War I, he served under the alias Matthew MacDonald. He landed in France on the 1st of July 1915 and in September he was wounded. He was transferred to the Labour Corps, which a lot of wounded men did in World War I. He died on the 2nd of October 1918 in the Royal Infirmary in Lancaster, aged 27. And this is the grave of Private Gerard Hook. In the Great War, he served in the King's Own Royal Lancaster Regiment. He landed in France on the 3rd of May 1915. On the 1st of September 1916, he was discharged, no longer physically fit for war service. On the 10th of March 1917, he died of disease, aged 25 years. And here's the grave of leading aircraftman Ronald Sargentson. Ronald was born in 1922. During the Second World War, he served in the Royal Air Force. On the 23rd of May 1944, he was taken seriously ill to the White Lodge Hospital in Newmarket. He was discharged from the RAF on the 27th of August, but sadly died in Westmoreland Sanatorium, Meathorpe, in Grange over Sands, of pulmonary tuberculosis. He was just 22 years old. is the grave of Staff Sergeant Raymond Oswald Annick. Raymond was born in 1918 in Penrith. Prior to service he was a manager of an optician's. In November 1939 he joined the Royal Army Ordnance Corps. On Christmas Day 1941 he had a tragic accident. He slipped off some cliffs in Wales whilst out walking. He sadly died. Burial took place on the 30th of December. Sadly, for families like Raymond, Christmas would never be the same. He was just 23 years old. I also have a picture of Raymond with his mother, father, sister, and school teacher. His mother and father are also buried in this grave. <laughs> 